Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome back to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. Today we're working on number 40 on the new General Curriculum Math Subtest. This is a great problem. It's a sort of at the back of the exam. It has nothing to do with graphs, nothing to do with equations. There's no major cons geometry formulas going on here. There's no number sense stuff going on here. This is strictly going to be with spatial intelligence and working with this one right here, a three-dimensional object, and sort of manipulating it into a 2D representation of that. So we're going from 3D to 2D in this problem. It's a really good spatial intelligence problem to practice because you see these on all the different teacher certification exams. Let's start by reading it over, and then we'll work through some of the ideas here, okay? All right, for number 40, it says, Use the diagram below to answer the question that follows. They give you a diagram, a bunch of cubes stacked up, and then it says, if the shaded faces in the figure shown above represent the front view of the figure, which of the following diagrams is the back view of the figure? Now, let's highlight this word figure, figure, figure. When we're talking about figures and faces of a figure, we're talking about something that's a 3D some sort of 3D thing. And then it wants us to match it up with the diagram below. And this diagram below is a, a 2D representation of this 3D figure. So in the problem, they're testing to see if we can go from 3D to 2D. And that's sort of the skill they're, they're, they're working out. Now, there's a little curveball at the end here where it talks about the back view of this figure. But for now, let's not even worry about it. Let's strictly see if we can take this 3D figure and represent it as a 2D model. And we're going to do that. We're going to do that first by uh, setting this up as this is our 3D. We'll put our 2D over here. And we need a reference point. And our reference point to go from 3D to 2D is going to be the front, because it mentions that word front, right? So let's just look at the front here. Everyone draw a line right here. This is our front view. And in the front, we have, let's see, we have a cube here. We got one cube here. We got three cubes, right? One, two, three cubes in this column here. We got two cubes here, one, two. And we got one cube here in this front row, right? So I'm going to take this front row. I'm going to rewrite it. I'm going to rewrite it. I got four cubes in that front row. There's one cube here, three here, two here, one here, and I'll, I'll, I'll stack them. One cube here, two more here to make three, two here to make two, and then one. Now, team, what did we just do? We just went from 3D to 2D. I have a very rough 2D model of the front side of this 3D figure. And if the question was, what is the 2D representation of this 3D figure? Well, the answer here would be D, because D matches up with that. We have a front row that has one, three, two, and one cubes there. Now, that would be great if that was the answer. And this is a great skill to go from 3D to 2D, and I want you to practice that. But that's not the answer to the question. The question says, what's the back view? In the back view, means that we're going to find the front view, and that you have to be able to find the front view first. We're going to take that, and we have to flip it. So here's our front view. And now we're going to flip it. We're going to use a line of symmetry. I'll draw a line of symmetry right here. I'm going to flip it to get that back view. We still have the same four cubes on the first row, but now we're focusing on the back, and everything's going to be reversed. So this went like this, one, three, two, one. And now it's going to, it's going to go backwards. One two, three, one, the opposite of this. So we got one cube here, two cubes here, three cubes here, back to one here. This is the 2D representation. This is the back view 2D representation of this 2D front view representation of this 3D object. The answer here is A. A matches up. This is the back view that lines up with what we've already identified as our reference point, that front row flipped. Team, a great problem to work on. 
practice the skill of finding the reference point and just going from 3D to 2D. You got to get that down first. And then watch out for those, you know, curveballs with um, flipping, flipping your 2D object to get the back view. All right, team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day, team. Take care. Bye-bye. Team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. This year, we're holding workshops in math, science, English and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass their teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check them out. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, and a couple other states. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.